So we think of ourselves as dynamic, autonomous creatures that have agency and free will, right? We move about the world and things don't influence us because we have free will. We have the capacity to decide at every moment who we are and where we're going, right? That is what we do. Except when you look deeper, you actually find that mind, okay, that consciousness, is in fact not necessarily autonomous from the world in which it dwells. In other words, consciousness is a co-production. Consciousness is a collaboration between subject and object. Professor David Lenson writes about this in his book. So consider what that means. It basically means there's not just one type of consciousness, right? There is this notion that it's person multiplied by place, multiplied by time, that reveals a garden of forking paths of possible consciousnesses, of possible entities, and that your consciousness is mediated. Again, if you think about what I'm saying, consciousness is mediated by the spaces that we dwell. In other words, the designs that we create design us in return, right? Ontological design. So what does that mean? It means that the people you hang out with determine who you are. It means that the language you speak sculpts your perception of the world. It means that the culture in which you live shapes your world view. It means that the people that you meet meet you in return and thus affect you. We are mediated beings. The clothing that we wear, uniforms, can structure our beliefs about the world. I mean, even typography can change how you think and how you perceive it. This notion that the wallpaper of the mind can influence reality so much, can influence consciousness, consciousness can influence perception to the degree that who and what we are is determined by where we are and where we dwell. The wallpaper matters, right? What is within is without, what is without is within. We're like the dragon eating its own tail. We're the Ouroboros, okay? We're Escher's hands. The hand is drawing the hand that's drawing the original hand. That's us. And again, what is the takeaway of this idea? <laughs> that we can create our own reality. That our creative and linguistic choices govern our fate. I design, therefore I become. The vertigo of freedom.